how the hell do we get a steak for under five bucks? If you're new here, I'm John, and I've been slinging food around on barbecues for over 20 years, and I'm proper addicted. This is how I got cheap steaks. Yes, upfront cost, spread over a few weeks to a month, get the prices down. I picked this up from the butcher this morning, Moe's Butchers in Ipswich in Queensland. 18 nicker per kilo for Jack's Creek full rump. Like all good butchers, they will slice it for you, but I like to do it myself, so if you get a big knife, something like this, most people have a big bread knife, that will do you fine. Just think, what do you normally get for 18 bucks a kilo in the supermarket? Take it out of the cryovac, then we're gonna pat it dry, just to make it easier to work with. Right, let's slice it through the guts and give you a look at this thing. So there's the cross cut. Now you've seen my previous video at the Bacania of the rump cut. That's that piece right there. So if you wanted to break it down from the start, you could just essentially get your fingers in it and you can almost pull the entire rump cap off. You just slither that fat cap and you're good to go. As you can see, even for 18 bucks, there's actually some decent sort of marbling in it, but it's the flavor that we want here. We're gonna use our boning knife and just gonna hone out that large chunk of fat there or just scallop it out. But that fat that you've scalloped out, you can put it into a small tray into the oven to your smoker, render it down, and it will become tallow. How many steaks you want, how far you want to stretch your budget, is all dependent on how thick you want these things. Let's see if we can shoot for a five buck steak, and we'll go from there. That is $4.23 for the steak. And the other side to that rump is the picanha, that's about 300 grams, so you're looking at just under five bucks for that piece. As you can see, I'm not here to fuck spiders, that was a thick piece too. Now this is the full cross cut of the rump. This is about 600 grams, so you're looking at about 10 bucks for a massive piece like this. Now that you've sliced them all up, Vac seal them, throw them into a glad bag. You can put some in the freezer, some in the fridge. Now, if you don't have a vac seal, I'll show you how to use a glad bag. Get a lot of that oxygen out so you reduce the chances of freezer burn. First, just right on the front, how many grams each steak is, and you can sort of work out your meals from there. So if you steak in your bag, pop a straw in, suck like a cheap hooker, and there you have it. Most of the O2's been ripped out of it. At least have a couple of big thick boys for a treat. Now, remember what I said before about separating the picanha? If this is still a whole piece, you'd basically grab it by the nose and you just have to peel it back. And then you can just slice through the, the cat from there. Plenty of different ways to skin a cat. This is what we've got. So when you divide it up into about 200 gram serve, which is about as big as a normal size hand, you're looking at about three bucks 60 a steak. Not too bad at all. What's your tip for a cheap steak?